what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Hot Toys Star Wars The Force Awakens Finn figure now this is known as a uh, MMS 345 so that's actual number for this particular figure you know now I'm definitely excited to actually manage to uh, find this one too as well you know and of course you know this is based on the character that was in uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens which I have right on Blu-ray and like I say, I saw this 27 times, like in the theaters. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was that, that many times, almost 30 times in the theaters now. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you it, you know. But yeah, I'm going to just get on into this right now, you know. Alright. Now, this was the box that it came in, like the usual Hot Toys I box, you know. Where did it have Hot Toys on it? And uh, they also had like this plastic around it too, like around the actual box, you know, like they used to have. This way to get out of shot, you know. But as you can see, this is the box art for the uh, Finn figure. Now, I must admit, right there, I didn't think the, uh, the likeness to John Boyega was that that great, you know. But I actually seen, like, better shots of the actual figure itself, you know, I think it was like, it looks like him, you know. I must admit, there I didn't, you know. And of course, you know, it says Star Wars, MMS, 345 Finn. Hot toys on the side, Disney, you know, with Disney, Star Wars, you know, and so on. So then what you do, of course, you just slide the box on off. <laughs> I like the packaging, these are awesome. And there's like the actual insert that's on the inside, which I think is awesome. That looks beautiful, I believe, in my opinion. But like I said again, the likeness to John Bigger, I must admit, on the pictures, I don't think it really does him justice too well. You could tell that's fan, you know, but I still kind of think that's really, you know, really looks like him from my opinion. Just being honest, you know, but the actual figure, like I said, I think looks actually better. And of course, you know, you can actually take this out too as well. And there's the actual insert right there. This, these are beautiful. I like how Hot Toys uh, do these, you know. <laughs> And of course, you know, this is how it actually looks on the inside to the, the figure itself. You can see it on the inside with its accessories and so on. Then you also can uh, even pull this out too as well. So I'm going to show that right quick. And once you do, that's where the instruction book is too right there, right underneath that. So I'm going to show that too right quick. Cause they usually have like tape in there. And yeah, here's like your actual instruction manual. And of course, this gives you like the instruction on how you uh, actually assemble your figure, you know, if you're having trouble with it. So um, I think these are helpful to be real on what you're doing. Let's say for like batteries, or even just like the, the accessories that they have, you know, it gives you examples of how you do them and so on. So I think this is, this is a cool thing to actually have, you know. Now what I wanted to show first is the actual stand that comes with fin. And as usual, you know, Hot Toys has it like in these uh, plastic like bags, you know. So I just open this. And there's his actual stand. It also has like a, a, a stick on it too as well. So I just take that on off. So you just put it on off. And as you can see it says a uh, Star Wars fan on it right there. And then of course you know as usual you have to take this right here. And actually put it into like that uh, slot up there at the top. And these are hard too you know you can't just uh, I guess you can if you want. But I usually just loose them out with like a hair dryer or a blow dryer and then actually uh, put the stand, like put it together. And once it's assembled, that's how it actually looks. And of course you have like the adjustable hook rail, you know, for your figure too. I think these are awesome too. These are pretty cool stands, you know. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's the uh, Hot Toys <laughs> fan bit figure based on the Force Awakens. Now, as usual, this is how they have them at first. When you first get them out, they have them all with, like this tape and stuff around. So I actually have to take all this off, you know. So yeah, you like pull like one off, you know. 
some of it be kind of tricky too, so I think I'm about to pause the camera, you know, because I don't want to like damage anything or break anything, then I, I return. Okay, as you can see, there's the uh, Hot Toys fan figure. I'm going to measure him right quick, and I actually have him on the stand too, so I'm going to measure him from there. Yeah, he's like 12 inches, like right at 12 inches, I can lean. So what I guess what I'll do first is talk about the articulation and uh, likeness to uh, John Boyega. Now I must admit, red hair, that does look like fan. When you actually have the figure in person, that does really look like uh, John Boyega, you know? I think that really was a, a nice job that Hot Toys done. But the actual pictures and images of them, it didn't really look like them too much, you know? Like on the actual, it's like this insert thing. I think that could have been better, you know? But the actual figure itself, I'm amazed that that really does look like John Boyega, you know? Especially from like certain angles, <laughs> that really does look like Finn, you know? I even think the hair is like done very well on this figure too as well, the hair. I like how it looks, you know, really looks like realistic, like the actual hair, you know. His head can be a uh, turn right or left, you know. He can tilt, but it seems like it is kind of like limited, you know, and I don't want to bother it too much, you know. He can kind of look up, but not too much. And he can kind of look down, you know. I like how his eyes have like that glossy look too. And that's awesome, the likeness to him. So yeah, I think they did a pretty good job on this on this actual likeness, you know. Even like this jacket is uh, done very well, because you notice it's a uh, pose jacket, you know. You got it from pole. Even like the uh, symbols and stuff they have on, I think it's pretty good. Like this like leather type material. But the shirt was a different color than this, if I can remember correctly, you know. This actual shirt. And the stuff I've done pretty good. The pants, you know, I like how they look. This this material, that's awesome. I like how it's like baggy too as well. Now this I think is kind of odd. I can't believe they actually did that with his ankles. That looks very weird. He has like these plastic like peg things on his feet. I think that's kind of odd. You can even say the pockets inside his uh clothing too as well like you can't use them all things but you actually can set the pockets in them. I actually like this one kind of can open you know but I'll leave it there. Even this jack where has actually like pocketed material too as well you can put like your hands in them you know. The fans arms can like raise up like that as you can see so they can go up. You can bend them like that there at the elbow. There the other one you can bend too as well. Hands can uh, rotate. You can do your uh, kick. He has knee bend too as well. Of course, you can do the split too. There's the split. <laughs> so his articulation is pretty good. He's very loose, you know. And these do stand on their own too. You know, you don't really need to stand, but I use the stand for them anyway. You know. Even the feet, the feet can rotate. You know. And of course, you know, as usual, says that underneath too. Got the hot toys. So yeah, I think this is an awesome figure, you know, like the likeness to John Bagel is just amazing on this, you know. I think they did really do a good job on this. Like the pictures, I don't think really do this justice. You actually have to see like the figure in person. And I have heard other people say that too about their figures, you know, from like Hot Toys, you know. You actually have to actually see it. And that's when you see that it really did look like the actual actor, you know, or the actress, you know. Now what I want to do is actually talk about the actual accessories that uh, come with Finn. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the actual lightsaber. Now that's one of the reasons why I was actually drawn to picking this particular figure up because you actually get like a lightsaber with Finn, which I think is so awesome. And you know this was originally Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which was originally Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. So I think that's kind of cool, you know. And of 
course, you know, I think you can uh, you can take it apart so you just slide it on out, you know. And there's the actual light service stuff, how it looks. It even has that like, loop thing too where you can hang it, you know, on fan, I think, somewhere or his pocket. Now, the next accessory I want to talk about the actual fan figures is his uh, arm, well, light up arm, you know. This is the uh, the other arm right here, you know, where you can put the uh, batteries on the inside and it will actually give it like a, a light up effect. So I think that's kind of cool. So what I have to do is I should take these batteries that Hot Toys and Clues with them, you know, three batteries, and put them in the arm, then I light it up. Uh -huh. Once you have the actual batteries in there, you just press the uh, on switch, and boom. Oh yeah, sorry for that blinding in it one. <laughs> You can see there's the actual blue light from it. It's very bright too. And I do think these are cool, but I still actually haven't been uh, putting them like on my uh, figures. You know, I actually haven't been taking their arms off. But I do plan on doing the eventually. I'm just still kind of, you know, hesitant, you know. And boom, there's the same. And this one actually uh, is bright too, as you can see. It's really bright, you know. That was cool. These here is awesome. I really do think these are awesome. Uh, Accessory to have with your figure, you know. The accessory I want to talk about with the uh, fan figure is his actual uh, bag that he has right here. As you can see. Now I could have swore I have seen this in different colors. I could have swore I saw this green. But I also have seen like this color too, yellow, you know. That's why I was wondering do they have like alternate colors for it. Well, it could have been just the person's camera, you know. Now I must admit this is an awesome accessory to the bag itself. When you look at it, it even has like, the actual strap right here on it, you know. Now, I'm thinking, uh, no, I don't think it can slide like it's actually just there. But it does have like, the strap right here on it, you know, like the shoulder pad thing. Then also has like this right here too as well in the front. Where you can actually open it, you can even set the net so you can see what you got inside the bag, you know. So I'm going to see if I can actually uh, open this on up. Let's actually just pull that apart right now. And you can see there's like a button on it right now that latches on. And then you can actually open the bag on up and look inside. You can put whatever you want in here, like like this, because his other accessories, you know, like the bombs. But I think this is a nicely detailed bag, you know. I think this is awesome. But then what you can actually do is just take it and just put it around fan, you know, too. I'll probably get out an example though for her. Now the next accessory that comes with fan are these actual bombs, or I think remote detonators, you know? And he, he has like eight of them, as you can see right here. This is how they actually look, nicely detailed. I bet if I really watched it again and looked at these real hard as well as exactly how they looked at, you know? But you do get like eight of these too, as well. Because then what you can do is actually take these and put them inside like like fins like bag where you can put all these inside like his bag. Now I probably just want to have like a few in there. Then just like close the bag on up. And as you can see there's the uh, the detonators or the bomb inside the bag. You can even see them in there. Even here I think that's awesome. And as you can see, it's fan with the other uh, bag on him. I think that's cool. There's no question I probably display like this, you know, with his bag hanging on him. And that's awesome. I probably had that many uh, of the detonators in there, but I probably definitely have it like this displayed on him like that. It's a cool accessory. <laughs> I also want to mention that fan also comes with an extra set of pegs too as well. So if you broke like a peg, you know, the hot toys give you this extra peg, which I think is cool that they do, you know. Mm -hmm. And the next accessories that comes with Finn are these uh, alternate hands where the Finn has like five hands. He has like uh, the right trigger hand, I guess for holding like the uh, a weapon. He also has a, a left solid fist and a... Uh, a right solid fist, like these are closed fists. And then he has like these two gripping like fists, you know, where you can put, I guess like the lightsaber probably in it, you know. And you can tell they're made for like the lightsaber. 
And the last accessory that comes with fan, it's probably what I'll be displaying them with too, other than this lightsaber. It's this actual blaster rifle right here, as you can see. I think Han Solo, if I can remember correctly, had gave him these items too, you know. Now this also has like a strap on it too, so you can actually hang it around Finn's like shoulder. And there's Finn with his blaster in his hand too as well. And he holds it pretty good, you know. Got it kind of like straight, but he does hold it up pretty good. Plus, if also if you want, you, know, you can actually display it on fans like that. You can put the gun like on his back, you know, to it if you want. Like having it on his shoulder, which I think is cool. Hmm. As you can see, there's fan actually holding the lightsaber too, as well. So yeah, there's no question I've been spanning on like that too as well with the actual lightsaber. That's one of the driving driving reasons for why I actually had got him too, you know, because I know he had the saber. And he's actually for a sister too. From what I'm hearing, this is in the books now. It's like in the novels, you know. Finn was actually for a sister. <laughs> and if you want, you also can actually holster uh Finn's like lightsaber, like the actual hill. He has like a pocket right there. It's actually two pockets now. I think that's how I actually go or you park and reverse it, you know. So you actually can't put it right on the side of his jacket. Yeah. So yeah, I probably just have him like that too at a time. Another thing with Finn too, this is one of the things I think is kinda uh it's 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 simple though. And I know I won't really be doing too much. Is that you actually can't put like the bomb like in his hand too. But it's not really a, a specific hand for, you know. But you can actually put it back in his hand as a good example. <laughs> now, I just wanted to give like a size comparison between these two since they're both from the same film. Like you have uh, the Kylo Ren figure right there, like the uh, Finn figure. You can see Kylo Ren is like a little taller than Finn. So there's like kind of a slight height difference. Cause even if you pull Kylo Hood back, you can tell he would be slightly taller than uh, Finn. Let's give another size comparison that you can tell that I'm, I'm betting that these are actually based on the actual actors like uh, Adam Driver as Kylo Ren and uh, John Boyega as Finn. <laughs> okay, there's the Hot Toys Finn figure, and this is based on The Force Awakens, which is uh, this particular film right here in the uh, Star Wars series. And I saw this, like I say, uh, 27 times in the theater. <laughs> I went and saw this, you know, I really did enjoy it, you know. But, um,. This is also known as product code MMS345, so that's his actual product code number, you know. But yeah, I think this is an awesome figure, and I must admit, the likeness to uh, John Boyega, like fan himself, is excellent. When you actually see the figure in person, but I still be that the actual, like, picture rare, these rare, didn't really do it enough justice. It looked good, and it looked like him. the artwork was beautiful for it, you know. But I feel like the likeness on the pictures didn't really look like him too much. But once you actually get the figure in your hand, actually have it, you know, it really does look like John Boyega, you know, the likeness to him, you know, it does look like him, you know. So I do think this is an awesome figure, you know. And what really drove me to actually pick this one on up too, really, because Finn had his lightsaber too as well. Because they also had this where you can get up the, uh, the Riot Stormtrooper. You can actually get like a two-pack with this particular Finn and like a Stormtrooper, you know, the one that he's fighting in the film, you know. But yeah, I think this is an awesome figure. I would definitely recommend picking this one up if you can find, you know. And I think this is probably released probably in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, uh, this is the Hot Toys Star Wars The Force Awakens fan figure. One six scale fan figure, you know, product code MMS345. I would definitely recommend this, you know. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. Ray. Dun 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 d